All right, head coach Brad Ralph, uh, obviously a better result than their West tonight. Uh, definitely similar layouts of the game. Um, you know, you don't want to dwell on the past, but what what was the difference you saw between last night and tonight? Obviously, a better performance from the guys. Uh, I mean, I think we expected a better performance. They prepare properly. Um, you know, it was a team effort. I thought everyone played hard tonight. And obviously, Ontario is right behind you guys in the standing. You know, they're battling tough. Um, the last time you guys saw them, you know, I believe the final score was 6-1 to one in their house. They obviously brought it. Was that the intensity you expected from the Ontario team coming in into tonight, into these two games? Yeah, they're a big physical team. You know, they they want to get pucks deep and get in on the forecheck. Um, you know, they throw pucks in the net and get some good bounces. So we know what type of team they are. I thought we outplayed them for the, for two periods. Obviously, the third period. You know, having lost our last three, we were on our heels, and I think that's um, you know that's that's going to happen when you you know when you, you're a little you're not as confident as you normally are. So, um, but we held on. You know, we uh, we rebounded after they scored their third goal. I thought we showed that hey, we can. You know, we can play, and nice to see the guys get rewarded in the shootout. And it, it, just talk about what you, the message was to the guys. Obviously, tonight was looking a lot like last night, kind of history repeating itself. What were you relaying to the guys, and what did you notice them as, you know, the overtime was coming and the shootout was coming as well, too? I didn't do a lot of talking today. I think uh, the message was sent yesterday, and, you know, it was on the players to respond. Talk about uh, Alex Pills Hill's goal, probably one of the wildest goals you're ever going to see. Uh, kind of the, the miraculous goal, if you will. Uh, did anybody on the bench see that puck until it went to the back of the net? Yeah, I don't know. It was a pretty well-held bounce for sure. Um, you know, there seems to be a lot of weird bounces in this rink with the partitions, and uh, that one was off, a, I think, a toe and, and a, an awkward bounce off the ice, but we needed it. Talk about Colin Shea in the lineup tonight. He's played a few games now. Nets his first pro goal of his career. Obviously a very special moment for Colin. And I'm sure the rest of the team and the coaching staff. Yeah, it was great to see uh, Shazy step up, have a, you know one of his best games of the year. But, you know, a guy that's been into the lineup and, you know, he's been putting the work in. And uh, it's great to see those guys rewarded. But, you know, he's a guy that we're going to rely on and, and we need him to continue that play. You guys got a couple days off back out on the road. Uh, you know, what's the message to the guys now? Uh, obviously, you got that, that win back in, you know, a couple columns, a couple people got on the lineup. Just what's the message to the guys going forward, getting ready for the new year? You know, we got to find our legs. I don't think uh, we had our legs here these last two games, so we'll, uh, we'll work hard this week, make sure the guys are tuned up and ready for a, a difficult Colorado team. All right, well, congrats on the win, Coach, and uh, enjoy the road. We'll see you back here in a couple weeks. All right, thanks.